So you just started streaming and now you want to add panels to your Twitch channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create free ones that basically anybody can do, even if you're not a pro graphic designer. Before the video starts, I'd like to mention that on this channel, I primarily stick to techie reviews and tutorials, tutorials on Wednesdays, and techie reviews on Saturdays. So if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. I'd also like to mention I stream on twitch.tv slash jadencoyer. Links down below in the video description below. If you have a question about anything I talk about in this video or just want to hang out and chat, feel free to click the link down below without further ado let's get into the video now what exactly is a twitch panel now a lot of people make their twitch panels based on who they are as a streamer what they want to be promoting but a lot of streamers keep the same principle of promoting themselves on other social media platforms through their twitch panels in my twitch panels i like to add first a little bit about myself telling a new viewer who i am what i like to do and what i'm passionate about and then i promote myself on other platforms the viewer may can go check out what i do on some of my other platforms you can also add other fun extensions to your twitch channels and there's a lot of customization you can do when it comes to twitch panels but in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create free twitch panels for your twitch channel that are super simple to make and let's get started i looked up on the internet twitch panel size and if you scroll down just a little bit and go to what are the dimensions of a twitch panel right here it says 320 by 100 this is very important to figure out what the size of something you're designing is because you don't want to design something that's too big or too small because it wouldn't fit then you're going to want to head over to canva.com this is a great place to design things for not only your twitch channel but maybe thumbnails and other things like that so if we go up to the top right it says create design you can type in 320 by 100 then hit create design you're going to see a white background and this is what we have to design on now I'm going to be making kind of a template so you guys can follow along with it and kind of change it for every single one of your panels. So we're first going to pick a base color. Now if you head over to elements, you can pick different colors. You can pick solid shapes. You can pick different kinds of gradients to choose from. And there's a lot of things that you can pick from when it comes to the element page. I'm going to be making this a solid color. If I click on the square right here, it's right down here in the shapes page. You can drag it over and we're going to fill it in all the way. So we're gonna fill in the background color. So if you click on it, go up to the color square right up here, you can pick any color you'd like. You can base this off your Twitch theme if you have a color for your Twitch channel, or you can just make it however you'd like. I'm gonna keep the background more of a dark gray because this is gonna make what I'm gonna be designing pop out a little bit more. I'm gonna be making this panel for my Twitter. I've already created one, but I'm gonna be showing you guys the same concept I used for mine. Then up in the search bar, you're going to want to type in whatever social platform you're going to be designing. And they have a lot of other things you can choose from. Not only Twitter, but YouTube logos and other things like that. If they don't have something, the easiest way to find something is go to Google and search up Insta PNG. Make sure you have PNG in the background. Go to images and you can find pretty much anything. Make sure you put PNG because this will make the background transparent. But most of the time, Canva has a lot of great options to choose from so i'm going to search up twitter and there's free ones that i can choose from the ones with the little crown do cost money i like this first one right here i'm going to drag it over to the left side i like to keep most of my stuff on the left side that's just the way i like it you can do it however you'd like i'm going to go up to the top right corner drag it just to make it a little bigger and there we go we have our twitter logo on the left hand side now i'm going to be adding a text now when it comes to text text is all up to you guys I have a font theme that I use for all my overlays and everything like that. And if you have that yourself, now's the time to use that. So I'm going to click on it. It's going to bring it over to the middle. And I'm just going to type in Twitter. And I'm going to move it to the middle. Grab the left-hand corner. Drag it just to make it a little bigger so people can see it. And the cool thing about the font is there's a lot of fun fonts you can pick from. There's fonts that glow to make things pop out more. And if you have a different color theme on your Twitch channel, you can literally do whatever you want when it comes to text. And there's a bunch of free options as well. You can also customize the color of your font as well as the boldness, the font size, and a bunch of other cool things. But I'm gonna keep this this size right here. And I do have a channel font theme. It's Barlow uh, Bold. So I'm gonna just move it to the center. Just make it a little bigger. There we go. Now you could just say you're done right here and you would have a good looking Twitch panel. Now I like to keep most of my designs pretty simple because I'm not a very good graphic designer, but if you want to, you can experiment and do whatever you'd like when it comes to Twitch panels. Now, this is the template that I used for Twitch panels. If you, on my Twitch, I basically added a little border around it 
just to make it pop out a little more but i kept to the same design i have my logo on the side and i have what it is and i like to take the color of what it is and board make a little border around my panel and there's a lot of customization you can do now i'm going to be showing you guys how to install a panel on your twitch stream once you're done creating your design you're going to want to go over to download in the top right make sure it's png and then you're going to want to go to download just wait for it to download then you're going to want to go back to your twitch panel you're going to go to edit panels you're going to scroll down click the plus bar go to add text or panel it's going to be right here i typically don't like to add panel titles because that just kind of makes it not look right you're going to want to add image choose file click your latest one it's going to fill in perfectly because we got the perfect design click done and you have a twitch panel now the cool thing about panels is you can add a link to whatever you're promoting so in this case it's going to be my twitter so if i go to my twitter go to profile if i copy it right up here copy and paste go back to the link right here Control v to paste it in we are all good to go and the beauty of this is once you're done make sure you hit submit once it's submitted you're going to go up to the top unclick edit panels and this is what it's going to look like now the reason i put my link is is because if someone clicks on this it brings them straight to my twitter page this works for basically anything else if you have a link for something you can put it in the link page and whenever somebody clicks on it it'll bring you right to their social platform this is really cool because then people don't have to go search up your name on twitter it just brings them straight to your twitter with the click of a button so you can mess around have fun with twitch panels customize them to your own personal liking i hope this video was helpful for you guys if you enjoy videos like this, drop a like and comment down below if you have any other videos you'd like me to make. Hope you guys found this video helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Dead, dead. Another kid, dead, another kid. Dead, dead, dead. Dead. One more kid, one more kid. We won, let's go. Let's go, Graylin.